And the token nomad, the scroll I picked today is Mr. S's plum blossom scroll. And I feel that's so important. Um, plum was his uh, mother's family's crest. And the tea uh, kettle is from passed down through his mother's lineage. And on top of our tea kettle lid is a plum blossom crest on the handle of the lid. And plum blossom is always very interesting to me. And we do have one plum tree in our garden here at the Kajiasa studio. And plum is like, you know, they grow very old and their trunks get very gnarly and twisty and Every year, though, these new shoots come out of the, you know, old tree and blossom. And it's that combination of young, brand new, and the old. And that I really want, you know, as a, I, I think it's Mr. S's mother's lineage symbol, but I also feel it's a good symbol for the studio because, you know, the history that's been here, but the new things that come are important as well and for that, those to be together. And that's how beauty will continue and the history of the studio will continue. To me, he's a, a way of life in which we, we 
try to appreciate every moment and um, we do it especially in tea but but it's important to me now because it's a way of thinking of all of life the studio is a lot more than the sum of its parts it's not about that you can do all of these different things is the way that they're all integrated together. Even though I never met Mr. Oster, I feel like you can really feel his spirit in the place and not just the attitude of the people and the story and the memory, but almost in the walls of the studio itself, like there's a very groundy presence. Mistrust, which came to Boston March 10th, 1967. And then he passed on March 11th, 2006. But I like to remember about him coming to Boston because, you know, that was, he, he didn't have the idea of the studio at that time. That kind of naturally happened after his students met him and really wanted to continue working with him. One of those early days when he was first in Boston and this nice springtime, like even today in Boston, the sun is shining. It's cool, but it's not super cold. And he wrote this haiku, spring water on the back of fish, light fragment. Thank you for coming to see. Thank you.